Welcome back onto the second channel. And before we even start, we have got an M5 to give away to Craig. He bought three tickets, £30, and he's taking away my M5 and £2,000 cash. Oh, yeah. That's the worst oh, driver I've done all nerves and stuff. You ready? <laughs> On the phone, I was shaking like a leaf. <laughs> You reckon your neighbours will enjoy that? <laughs> <laughs> my lass is going to be exactly the same. She hates a lot of cars. <laughs> this is one of my dream cars. Oh, no. Are, it, you, it, are you going to keep it for a bit? I'm like... going to keep it for a bit, yeah. As yeah, long as I yeah. can. Put it that way, as yeah, long as I can. It. What a win for Craig. I bet he absolutely was in. This is the best part about it. <laughs> See you later. Goodbye, M5. <sighs> a little series of bad luck. The Maserati, haven't driven it in a long time. Came to the gym this morning and we have a flat tire at the back and we're absolutely beat. So I've got to get this tire off quick time and I'm going to take it to the tire place up the road and we've got half an hour to do it. So we've got to be as quick as we can. Look at this tire, it's completely flat. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Why did they put this silly body kit on? Oh, oh, oh no, it's crunching. No, it worked. <laughs> it worked. We had to lower the front to get the back high enough to get the jack under it. And this is why you should check the inside of your tyres, not the outside, because the outside are fine. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Do you have any camber on that? <laughs> All the camber. I've got a wheel off the uh, Ferrari 430, which should be the same wheel PC, PCD, so I could put this on lower it down, then take the other one off because we're going to replace it both in pairs because the other side doesn't look any better. <laughs> the Ferrari wheel doesn't fit onto the Maserati hub, yet they use so many other different parts, but that doesn't make any sense. Why would they not use the same wheel hub? The poor Maserati could definitely do with a bit of uh, some upkeep. I've had the front PPF. I don't know, maybe we could do a new wrap. I've just noticed that the wheels are completely well the wheels are starting to look a bit tired so could probably get a wheel refurb as well whilst i'm there come on eden lads got a free plug because they're helping me they said they can't fit the tires but we walked in and they're gonna fit them for us <laughs> no pressure about scratching them i'm gonna get them refurbed but don't scratch them <laughs> <laughs> we're on they smashed it it's quite stretched really isn't it here we go fresh tire rain sports front and rear now i'm like oh why not get michelin's this car's not fast enough for michelin's it's just not quick enough it can't even spin budget tires up so <laughs> <laughs> for years i haven't had to touch this car you just drove it and then what you need to do is drive your cars yeah because if you don't drive them that's when things go wrong definitely i agree but like, this has been like the most reliable car out of all my cars. There's a load of lights on the dash which come on, but it still drives. The Maserati is back on the road looking nice. The Ferrari is almost there. We're still waiting for some more parts for that. So the main channel video will be coming soon on the Ferrari. Two Italian stallions looking good. The RS6, I'm working on it because it's going on the shipping container very, very soon. But if you need to insure any modified cars like the RS6, like the Maserati, like the Ferrari, or even like the BMW M5 that Craig took earlier, Adrian Flux are you guys. Adrian Flux have got 50 years experience and a dedicated team which has helped insure tons of modified cars around the UK. Now later in the video, if we finish the Porsche and get it fixed, we're hopefully gonna be going on track and you can come on track as well virtually <laughs> with help from adrian flux because they're going to be giving away a playstation 5 with the gran turismo game as well and this is really easy all you've got to do is click the link in the description box below enter your email and you're entered in for the chance to win the playstation 5 and the gran turismo game go and do it it is so easy and it supports me and adrian flux as well and hopefully you'll be the winner of the playstation 5. next job fix the porsche since the nurburgring we have uh, lost most of the splitter on the front and we also lost an indicator from the tyre absolutely butchering it. So I think I'm going to raise it a bit. Oh, I've also got some wheel spaces as well. I was going to just slightly space out these wheels just to bring them out. I think they're 50 mil. I think that will look cool. Let's get it in, fix the splitter. I've been waiting over a month for it because this splitter comes with like the full kit. So it took ages to come in and it's trying to secure it a lot better. Yeah, it's broken. <laughs> it is actually sick, this car. For like an entry 
kind of almost entry level Porsche. This does the job absolutely mint. This is the aftermath of the ring. So <laughs> I've, well, hopefully we're going to secure this a lot better than before. Um, I don't really know how it was secured before, just a lot of bolts. So we'll see. This is an OEM splitter support, but this is an aftermarket bumper, but was going to see because it's got more support for the splitter underneath in the middle. I was gonna see if it works, but it just doesn't quite fit right. So we're gonna have to send this back to Porsche. It wasn't that expensive, but it would have just held the splitter in more securely in the middle. Whereas at the minute there's nothing holding the splitter in in the middle, but see what we can do. New splitter, new splitter. Hopefully it's good. This splitter was 1100 pound, I think. That's why we went in cheap cars to the Nürburgring the second time. <laughs> yeah, man. Is it a GT4? Well, it's a, yeah, it's a, a GT4 look like, yeah. Ah, we can, we're not going to be able to secure it in the middle. What was happening before? All the, the wind were blowing it down. Do you know what the GT3 had? It had a cable, had a cable in the bumper. Hammer, 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 hammer. Right, there's no way this is all coming off now. There's nine nuts and bolts each side holding this splitter in, and this centerpiece is pretty solid, so I can't see that going anywhere. I can literally lift up the bumper with that middle piece, so I think, we, whoa, we should be good. I'm gonna put the grill in, and there it goes. Fresh carbon fiber splitter, and the bumper is looking sweet, still looking good even after a track day. Let's get this back on and raise the car up a bit whilst we're at it as well. So that does not happen again. Now we're going on a track day in a couple of days. So we have got to get this ready. One thing that I do need to replace one more time is this arch lining because we ran the car much too low. So this is all an example of don't run your car too low. So we're going to take this off as well as the other side as well. And uh, yeah, we've got to get dialed in. We've got we're at Donington. We'll see how this performs. Magic. Oh, that's some Ooh. big perishing. Perished. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Are you going to fix this before you do the arch line mm. or are you going to do that first? My dad normally does this stuff because I hate it. Hazards are on, I think. So these ones are black. Black to brown. Brown to yellow. Whee! Yes. Okay. Permanent fix coming up. Wire to the wire. And then we've got these solder seal wire connectors. We used them in America, so we thought we'd invest in them back here. And uh, yeah, look, you put them in there and it literally just melts it into place. I think they're a pretty neat bit of kit, but guarantee someone in the comment section will say they're no good. Look at that. That's solid, that. Don't put it too hard. It's not working now. What do you mean it's I've not working? I've done all that, all loom taped it up. Did I put the rock wires to the right one? The only thing I thought is it because when you loom tapes it all up, all those cables were damaged. So would have that when they're touching, would that affect it? Might do. Right. Okay. Okay. So we're going to take it all off again. <laughs> yep. Yeah, turns out the wire is damaged Ooh. further down. Oh, well, yeah. It's perished down there, and uh, it's perishing here. I've just broke it off. That is not ideal. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not good. Time to repair that. There you go. She's OEM now. Got the loom tape all on there and the connections. There was just a little bit of wire which was broken further down, but that's mint. Ready to go back in to the bumper, which has got to go on there. Yes, all the indicators. Great. And we need the toe eye on because we're going on the track. So this might as well be a permanent fixture for the car now because we're using it on track more and more. Although I don't want to break the car. That's on. Arch lining next. Oh, it looks so sick, doesn't it? What? It's not even clean and it looks mint. Arch lining, let's do it. New arch lining is all in and I've made sure every single bolt and more is in holding this thing in. It's never going anywhere, but to be sure that it doesn't get damaged again, which is what happened the first time, is that because it was too low, it hit against uh, the arch lining. So I'm gonna raise the coil over which is what these things are. I have no idea by how much. I'm just going to go the same each side. We'll measure what this side is though. But oh. again, that side might have a different weight than this side. So mm. mathematics. It's not, 
an exact size. We're not doing some Manti alignment right now. We're just trying to get it ready to go on track tomorrow. Interesting, interesting. Turn, boring. <laughs> Tedious. <laughs> Annoying. <laughs> right, we've got to measure that and do it the other side. In here, I've just got some spaces. And these are, I think they're 15 mil, which is a bit brave because it's quite big, but I think it's going to bring the wheel out a lot. I mean, this could not work, to be honest, it might. The fronts are fine. I think I just want to bring the rears out and obviously we'll have a little bit more grip at the rear as well, where we should. I've raised it up a bit at the back as well. At the minute it looks wide, but once we put it on the floor, it might have a bit of camber. But this car does drive really nice and I don't want to ruin it, but this would look better. So let's see, let's see. Oh, it might actually work. The only thing we can do is test it tomorrow at the track and see whether it rubs. But I think, I think the clearance is good. I think that's perfect. Let's get to the track. We've come here to win and to win only. Who are we racing? We're racing everyone that can be raced. We just need to overtake everyone that's there. Okay, this is a thing as well that we need to say about track days as well. There's, everyone's really opinionated because when you watch someone drive, it always feels like you could do better. And just like a, a mechanic that I'm not, I'm not a mechanic and I'm not a race car driver, but the more time you get in a seat, the better you get. So like, there's gonna be some sketchy moments. There always will be, but don't, I'm not a racing driver, but the more seat time I get, I reckon after this, I, re I should be able to get into F1. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Traction's on and we're gonna uh, do what the briefing says, which says, uh, Start slow and uh, build yourself up. Oh, that was, oh, that was quick. Oh, that was quick. Oh, it's <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, we were dead. <laughs> Good luck, Cayman. Yeah, we're very dangerous on the track. It's going to be a roughly straight. It's going to go. Oh, big crash for oh. the onesies. This is the lap. We've got Parky in front of the M3. That M3 is yeah, he's got the pace. Is, we're, we're the slowest car in this line. But can we keep up? We're about to see. Heavy on the brakes. It's the first corner. Little bit of oversteer. Oh, the M3 is sideways. It's yeah. going dirty driving. Oh, they are chipping. They're flying. Little bit of brake. All the way down the hill. I don't know what line park he's on, but he's flying. Oh, the M3's behind the place, oh, wait, oh my god! <laughs> Matt is now concentrating, he's not going to say a word for the next two laps. Oh, the M3 is all over oh, the Oh, the M3 oh, is literally from the side of it. He's tank slapping. Oh! oh. <laughs> That's going, that is. What, oh, Jack, you want to spin it around facing us? Reduced engine power. Yeah. Oh, sorry guys. Yeah, I had to move out the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you slow down that bit? We got over the oil went up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely slowed down. I was like, what's his excuse gonna be? The oil's honestly gone up. What's your best lap time then? 122. Big out lap, and then uh, do a 121. <laughs> Getting the 121s. Oh, this absolutely grips. Oh my god. <laughs> Take her over here. 
Your, <laughs> your nose! Oh my god! I thought we were dead. That was gonna be fast and all. I think it might have sounded worse than what it was. It's the gravel muncher! <laughs> <laughs> the aftermath. Oh look at this look at that. Wheelmania needs a trip. Uh, the gravel does loads of damage. Oh. Fair play, he kept it planted, he did not care. So the Cayman S has well and truly proved itself once again. What a solid car this is. I think plenty more track days to come. No, no words. What a time. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.